G'day guys, we've got a very busy morning here at West Coast Veterinary Hospital. I've just got off the phone to a trainer and a greyhound is coming down with a very badly fractured leg. So it's going to come in a big rush here and we've got to better assess it, work out what's happening and try and fix it. Alright, this is the greyhound I was just talking about guys. Um, we've got the leg here stabilised, apparently there's a very bad carpal fracture. Joe's just carried him in, so what we've got to do is get some pain relief into him straight away and we'll get some x-rays and see what we've got. You can see there's a very bad fracture of both the radius and ulna here, just above the wrist of the dog. This is the fracture. Along here, it is quite displaced, which means the bones aren't in line and you can see there's a lot of soft tissue swelling here. The bone's extremely close to coming out through the skin, which is a very big worry when it comes to infection. Now, what we're gonna have to do to try and fix this greyhound is realign the bones here. So we'll have to distract this leg, pull these bones apart, and then we're gonna have to stabilize it after that. So this greyhound will need a bone plate going all the way up the leg with several screws. So that's the plan for today. Hopefully we can save this dog's leg and um, get him moving around again very well. So that's our next part of the day is fixing this extremely bad fracture here and trying to save this dog's life. So we've got our dog here anaesthetized, ready for surgery. I just want to demonstrate the laxity in the leg here and what we're dealing with. So this is straight obviously and this is not straight. So what we're going to have to do is put the plate in at the front here and stabilise the fracture. Um, there's also a very small degree of skin breakage here, so the fractures come through at the skin. Um, so we're going to have to have it on some quite good antibiotics and we're distracting this fracture at the moment so we can get it back into place. So I'll see you soon in surgery. So the fracture's been stabilised now with a bone plate here. This is a 3.5 LC DCP bone plate with all the orthopaedic screws in there. You can see how solid the leg is now and we've still got very nice carpal flexion. So I'm really happy how this has gone and we're just going to take some post-op x-rays. All done there, closed up. So we'll put a cast on now and fingers crossed everything goes well. Well, our greyhound friend has recovered really well from surgery there. He's got the cast on and he's actually able to wait there on it now. I just wanted to recap what we did at surgery because it was all a bit of a rush in there, very serious emergency. So when he presented, this is the fracture we've got here. So we've got a very displaced radius and ulna and um, the actual tendons and muscles had contracted up. So we actually had to distract this leg to get the bones back together. So this was the initial X-ray. We actually had a very small degree of um, the bone sticking out through the skin as well. So he's on some very strong antibiotics. So during the surgery, we initially repositioned the leg. So this is getting the leg back in position with X-ray guidance. And this is the front view here. So you can see the bones are quite well aligned. And then what we went ahead and did was repair the fracture. We've used a special limited contact dynamic compression plate here, which is the special plate with the notches in it. And we've used a variety of um, screws to keep it all in place. As you can see here, the bone looks very well aligned. You can still see the fracture here. However, it's much better in this position than it was previously. So this is a very, very solid stabilization and I'm extremely happy how it's all gone. So after this, what we went ahead and did was place him in a bandage cast and he is now weight bearing on it pretty well following surgery. So we'll hop out there in a second and see what our mate's doing. So this is our mate here a few days post-surgery. He's going really, really well. As you can see, he's still got his bandage cast in place there, but he can stand on it and fully wait there. He's a much, much happier dog now. And the plan is we'll get this cast off in the next day or two and make sure everything looks fine. But I'm very happy with his progress and I think he's a lot happier as well. It's time for Zach to go home.
thanks for watching our video today. We hope you had just as much fun watching it as we did making it. And if you want to stay in touch with our adventures, then just click on the subscribe button down there.